In 1972, Shunya Ito made his directorial debut with Female Prisoner Scorpion 701. He followed up with Jailhouse 41 and Be Stable, but part four called Grudge Song was directed by Yasuhiro Hasabi, who did a great job. And Miko Kaji and him had worked previously, so they, they had that, you know, actor-director relationship beforehand, so they were able to connect, I guess, on set, which is great. Because the only really direction that Shunya Ito gave uh, Scorpion, well, I will refer to her as Scorpion, uh, she doesn't really talk. Like, she maybe says 20, 20 words within the entire series, which is nuts. And it's, it's important to point out that there was two other Scorpion films put out in the later 70s, one in the 90s, and then one in the mid-2000s, which I've yet to see. So this, this video will be focusing on the Shunya Ida and the fourth film, Grudge Song. So basically... And I look at these films the same way I look at the Kill Bill uh, series. You watch them, and it's one story. I've I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube talking about this film series, saying you could watch part three and four without watching part one and two. I totally disagree with that statement. I would say watch them all in order, and you'll get the best viewing experience. So with this video, I just kind of want to touch base on some of my favorite points or parts of, of the films. So with Female Prisoner Scorpion 701, which is the first in the series... Uh, you have one of my favorite scenes is the scene with the miso soup. Basically, Scorpion is hogtied in a prison cell, and one of the orderlies comes in with the intent to pour hot miso soup all over her. And uh, Scorpion's able to trip this woman, and the, the soup goes all over her, and it's it's awesome. Like there's a there's a really good like um, revolution or revolt against authority, uh, a, a prison riot basically that happens when all these chicks go nuts, and uh, they blame Scorpion. And it's 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 really good. You got this asshole warden character who's who rules the prison with an iron fist. He he gets a piece of glass or something in his eye, and he just acts so nonchalant about it. I love it. Uh, he comes back in Jailhouse 41, which is the sequel in the series, and a fucking amazing sequel. I gotta point this out right now. Jailhouse 41 is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's my favorite in the series, and it's it's just excellent it's psychedelic it's horrifying it's freaky it's weird it's awesome it's explosive it's action-packed it's exploitive like it's it's everything you want you know it's like this chick's like the female fucking charles bronson basically she's uh the the japanese pam greer basically uh, that's the only way i can describe her she was also lady snowblood uh in that duology film series there's two films in that but um part two is basically about scorpion scorpion starting off being in prison and uh she's sharpening a spoon which is really fucking cool with her with her mouth and uh you know she's getting ready for that warden cocksucker and she almost gets him uh but sh she ends up escaping from the prison with a group of other women prisoners and uh th the one is just off her fucking rocker like she killed her uh her unborn kid and her other kid because her husband was cheating or something like that you have a scene where they're on their they're, they're on the run and they run into this old woman who basically runs down what all their backstories are in this really kind of sing-songy way that's really psychedelic and weird and everything involving that old woman is either fucking scary or awesome and I, I stick by part two being my favorite in the series you have some really good uh end, se end sequence on a bus uh, where basically the chick pulls, you know, what the hell is the guy's name from, from Demolition Man? Uh, Simon Phoenix. What Simon Phoenix did to John Spartan. What Simon Phoenix does to John Spartan is kind of what Miko Kaji does to <laughs> the group of people on, on the bus. And it's insane. I love it. I, th this is my favorite one for sure. And some of like the cool, uh, lighting and just like, the backgrounds like they, they just look so well and vivid like these movies are from the 70s and they look fantastic like these are the uh the eureka editions i know arrow put out uh, a really nice box set that's like a hundred dollars but th these looked great they looked great and with part three be stable you have miko kaji scorpion on the run in a metropolitan city but also getting like herself a job and she's being pursued by this cop who, at the beginning of the film, she cuts off his arm. And now he's like the one-armed swordsman kind of character walking around looking for Scorpion. And Scorpion is, you know, she's working in the sewing plant and she, she befriends this girl who's like impregnated by her retarded brother. But the good part about that friendship is uh, there's, a, there's a, a sequence in the film where Scorpion needs to be in this sewer system. And uh, the way that the girl finds her is by dropping matches through all the, 
all the manhole covers and you got these like really cool shots of matches dropping through the sewers and you know her calling out scorpion in japanese which is sasori and it's it's really cool and hypnotic in parts and i really appreciate what they did with this film but scorpion ends up getting uh caught by this mafia broad who is an ex-prisoner that she was you know acquainted with scorpion and basically has plans of like i guess just drugging scorpion pimping her out or something but uh scorpion gets out and that girl gets arrested and uh scorpion kind of fooled the one-armed guy because there's this whole sequence where the one-armed guy pours a bunch of gasoline into the sewer because he knows scorpion's down there and lights it on fire and he's convinced scorpion's dead and he goes to the prison where uh scorpion plays is has been uh put in prison for three months for arson which is like a totally light sentence because she's wanted for like fucking multiple murders but she's in there and the girl that held her hostage is in there and scorpion just starts fucking with her puts a a, a needle in her bed uh kind of drives her crazy drives her nuts for real and uh the end of the film is the one-armed swordsman coming in and uh being strangled by the crazy bitch who's been drove nuts by the scorpion because she thinks it's scorpion she's strangling and uh the last thing that that guy sees is the scorpion walking away with a mop and bucket uh because she set this whole ordeal up and i i really like that <clears throat> I, I really do like part three i just don't like that whole retarded brother rape and the sister thing i just thought that could have been left out uh finally oh i should mention that's the final uh film in the shanya ito portion of this video so now we're moving on to grudge song directed by yasuhiro hasambe and this film uh br comes back uh full circle in a way to me to part one where part one where she loses her virginity and you got that scene of the japanese we got a scene of a sheet that slowly goes red in the middle almost like a japanese flag but it's a signify sasori losing her virginity where in this one she meets another guy who uh is kind of like this badass guy that was like a revolutionary kind of guy fought against the system and all that has his history with the cops and uh scorpion kind of finds that appealing and uh they have sex and scorpion uh, much like in the first one, it shows the bed sheet, and at first it's black, and then it turns red, I guess signifying that, like, she, she's, because she's been raped, and, which is fucked to say, but she's been raped so many times, like, she can finally enjoy, uh, like, sexual release without feeling guilty about it or whatever, and I really thought that was cool how they did that, come full circle in, into the fourth film like that. This film is about her getting fucked over by that guy, so now she's even more of a man-hater. There's actually a scene in, I think, part one where she has a lesbian experience, uh, but that's the only time they really touch upon that. I'm not going to say whether the film ends with Scorpion being in prison or being on the run or being dead. I would just say watch these films. I think a few of them are on YouTube, so you can check them out there. You can get the Arrow box set and... Yeah, I would just, I highly recommend these. Quentin Tarantino holds them in high regard. Uh, a lot of people do. Shout out VZ Madness. He, he's like the first person that kind of got these and let it be known to me that they were good. Definitely watch these flicks and stay tuned for the next uh, video. Don't know who the director or the film series is going to be yet. So I uh, just appreciate all the, you know, new subscribers, the likes, comments, all that kind of stuff, sharing them and shit. So uh, check out the Facebook page, which is Bluntzilla Video, the Instagram, Bluntzilla Video, and uh, the links to those will be in the description. So uh, thanks for watching and adios.